good youtube it's your girl king king once again i'm back with another video what's good y'all hey what's up it's your girl king king what's going on welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel my name is ken ken this is a free channel so i do it all y'all i do pranks story time reaction videos i am on my journey to baby number two with having pcos if you don't know what pcos is then google it right now i'm just literally like chilling and um i really didn't feel like doing a video at all <laughs> Like as you see how I'm how I'm looking here, you know. Um, I just really haven't really been in the mood to do anything. I've been kind of like under the weather. Um, no, I don't have COVID or anything like that. But it's more like of my allergies kind of been acting up a little bit, and I just haven't really been in the mood to make videos. Like I still got the old video. That I haven't posted of me literally chopping my best friend hair off. Like I have to post that video next. That video was done back in like October of 2021. This is the first step. We're just gonna cut it. Ready? It's good, perfect. And I still haven't posted it yet. And the video is already edited and everything. So I don't know why I haven't posted it. But I'm going to post that video. I'm going to post that video next. And also, um, I know people was um, commenting and was saying that I need to do a, another video. Like a follow-up video regarding the reaction video with um, Seeking Sade or Forever Sade and Amira. Which is now the a and a and R vlogs, whatever they wanted, she keep changing her name to. Um, I was gonna do a re a follow video on that, and I'm pretty freaking sure I got a lot of views for it. But at the end of the day, that's more drama, y'all. Like, don't get me wrong, I like to react to certain stuff that's happening, and I like to speak my voice on it. But I just don't want people thinking I'm just a drama channel. Like, my channel is so much more. Like, so much more. Like, people, I feel like all these subs that came on here, I'm grateful for each and every one of you. But I also want y'all to realize, you'll have to understand Kinky. And don't just come to my channel thinking, like, oh, she's just going to keep reacting to drama and stuff like that. Because that is not just my channel. I mean, yeah, I react to drama and stuff, but... I'm not a drama channel, you know? So that's something I do want you guys to understand with that. As you know by the title, I'm talking about how CMOS has definitely helped me in so many ways. I've heard things about CMOS, you guys, and I really didn't understand uh, how much it actually helps the body. But it helps the body so freaking much. And I actually have labs that's six months apart that was done on my body and I'm gonna show you guys like the difference in my lab work from and I'm talking about recent like from six months ago to me literally getting lab work done like three four weeks ago you know what I'm seeing like a difference with my body so CMOS works so well and I will always take CMOS I mean I take CMOS you know, my son takes CMOS, like CMOS, I, I have my dad taking CMOS, I have my my mom taking CMOS, so CMOS is very fundamental. If y'all don't know what CMOS is, you guys, CMOS is something that we need. Dr. CB actually spoke about it a long time ago about CMOS, okay? And if you don't know Dr. CB, I'm going to put a little clip right here. Chondros Crypsis, am I right? CMOS comes from the ocean. It locks onto a rock, onto a rock, and from that rock, it receives its nutrients. Dr. Sibi, how could that be possible? A plant pulled onto a rock? Yes. Scientists have yet to understand how could a plant hold onto a rock and then give you food. Well, you know what it is? They invented a word. This is the word.
a 15-letter word. They call it ionthroporosis. Now dig that. They don't understand the workings of God, but they're going to give it a name. That a plant has the ability to convert a solid oxide substance into a liquid digestible substance. They call it ionthroporosis. Sea moss does that. And every plant does that. But sea moss has iodides, bromides, it has all of the minerals, phosphorus, Phosphorus, which is good for the thyroid gland, which is good for the endocrine system, and it's going to give you energy. And it has muscle food. They call it manito. Sea moss. Like the man, <laughs> the man made pe peppermint, and he made aloe vera. He, na he made noni juice. He made vitamin C out of acerola berry. But well, guess what he did in Boston? And you guys don't know it, and it's dangerous. The man went to the ocean and got a piece of sea moss. Because he knows that sea moss grows in the ocean where the sea is in constant motion. Sea moss doesn't grow where the sea stands still. It has to be in motion. And sea moss grows. So this man in Boston went and got pieces of sea moss put it in this brine with salt on a machine and he move it. The, the machine is constantly moving and lo and behold the sea moss grows very thick very thick and very fast and when you get a little bit of it and you put it in the pot it gives you a whole lot of mucilage. The natural sea moss doesn't give you a whole lot of mucilage. And the talus of the sea moss, I mean the little strings, thin, thin, thin like this. Very thin. Just like this. But the other one is three times the size. And the other one, three times the size, it always has salt on it. Natural sea moss has no salt on it. So as you know, he speaks a lot about sea moss. Sea moss has 92 minerals. Your body needs 102 minerals every day to function to stay functioning and sea moss has 92 minerals of it that means it doesn't matter how many vitamins you take a day workouts you do a day protein shakes salads you eat a day that's not going to amount up to the minerals that sea moss has within itself let me tell y'all a small backstory what's been going on with my life it's what you okay girl I don't know if y'all heard that. But, um, what's been going on with my life? So, my doctor told me, matter of fact, I'm going to show you, I'm, I'm going to show you blood work too. I'm going to show you blood work too. So, we're, I'm, we're going to go to, I'm looking down at my phone, but I'm going to pop it, I'm going to pop it over here on the side so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So, six months ago, I went to the doctor to do blood work and I've noticed before, before the six months ago, I would say, I would say maybe seven months ago, I went to the doctor and got, because I go to the doctor every six months just to, just to go because I am plus size and I like to keep, you know, know what's going on with my body. And I could tell something was wrong with me regarding my, my, my throat area. Like it just always felt like it was sore. It just always felt like. I just, like, I was always coughing. My throat was just, it felt like a little tingly. Like, it just, something was always, I felt was wrong with it. So, when I actually went to the doctor and did blood work, y'all, this is my numbers from seven months ago. TS8. If you don't know what TH8 levels are, that is your, that's your thyroid levels. And it pretty much, you know, lets you know how your thyroid is operating. You know, thyroid is very important, especially if you want to get pregnant. You do have to have your thyroid in, you know, normal and stuff. So, my doctor at the time, um, he prescribed me medication for my thyroid. And 
he was like, yeah, you can start taking that. And that's something that I would have to take for a while. And I was so upset. I was like, no, I don't want to take it. Like, I, I don't want to. Like, I don't want to take these medicines. I'm already pretty big. Like, that's what happens when you start taking medicine. This going to happen. That going to happen. It's just like, I just didn't want to take any medicine. Like, at all. Right? I just didn't want to take... I just didn't want to take any medicines. So, I was doing research and sea moss actually helps your thyroid. That's one of the minerals that it has. It helps your, your thyroid naturally to where you don't need medication. So, I vowed, I said, you know what? I'm going to start taking sea moss and I'm going to take it every day. Some people say take it twice a day, but I only take it once a day when I first wake up in the morning. And I told myself, I was like, you know what, if I take this sea moss and I'm going to go back in six months to my daughter and see what my levels are. I kid you not, I didn't start, I didn't take the medicine at all because I did not want to take it. And I came back six months and this is my levels now. It's in range, normal, and I have not took the medicine. I think he was, I think he prescribed me level drop seen or some kind of medication for thyroid and I was not going to take that medicine at all. I'm not. I already have to take Provera to start my cycles. I'm not about to start taking all this medication. And that's my numbers as you see right here. I'm going to put it back before. This was the first one for the first you know few months six months ago and this is my recent one. Okay? Alright? All right, so let's go to some other numbers that CMOS has done and benefit me, okay? This is, and I'm looking down because my phone, <laughs> but this one right here is my panels for seven months ago. As you see, the cholesterol was 210, you guys, 210. My triglycerides, 165. Um, and then my LDL, which also I think has to do with, um, my cholesterol, I think was super high, right? Six months ago, CMOS. This is, now this is the one I just had. My cholesterol went down to 203, okay? My LDL went down to 115. So you get what I'm saying? Like my triglycerides, that's me pretty much fat. Okay? That's pretty much the fat. So, I mean, of course, with weight loss, the triglycerides will go down, you know, with that. But that's not something at the moment to be like 100% like scared about. The main thing I was concerned about is my cholesterol, right? Then my glucose. Okay. So then let's go to another one. This is seven months ago, you guys. My glucose, which had me being pre-diabetic, was 105, and that's from fasting all night. It was 105. All right. Um, and then my sodium was like way low. It was like 131, which I didn't understand that. Um, and yeah, my potassium was good. Everything else was pretty good with that, right? Six months later, which is now, my glucose was 99, normal, okay, not pre-diabetic anymore. My sodium is back to normal. Everything else is normal. And honestly, y'all, the only thing I did different in six months, I, and I'm not lying, I'm being dead serious, besides me sitting here watching what I'm eating and, and trying to eat better, it's CMOS because it's been times where I watched what I was eating and nothing changed at all. You get what I'm saying? Nothing changed. This right here, it actually freaking changed when I started doing my CMOS. That's why I say like, like this is crazy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like CMOS really is what it says it is this is me actually making my steam moss i'm gonna put in a clip right here
put in a jar, as you saw, and I just take me a tablespoon every single day, y'all. I'm telling you. Y'all need to get on sea moss. And I'm not talking about them sea mosses where people be having the flavorful kinds and all. Sea moss, see, the flavor takes away from the sea moss. People like to add certain flavors to sea moss, like cherry, blueberry. Uh, don't get those. Don't get those kind. You need the, the raw sea moss. You need to make it yourself. Because a lot of the sea mosses that people buy is going to be authentic sea moss. Okay, they add so many flavors and sugars and stuff to it to where you're not getting the full minerals that you need to get Because people have all of these different kinds that you need to make your own sea moss It does not take like It does take no time like literally okay Yeah, it takes 24 hours before you can actually use it because you do have to soak it in different things like that Because I soak my sea moss to 24 between 24 and 48 hours before I even um you know, blend it up and stuff. I get the raw sea moss. I don't get nothing back. I make sure I do everything myself. And I'm telling y'all, like, sea moss does wonders for me. Sea moss helped me out so much. And I'm telling y'all, y'all really need to get with sea moss. It's really helping my body. And I would say now I've been doing sea moss for almost a good year. And I can definitely tell the difference with a lot of things um, going on with my body. And you have to make sure you pick the right sea moss because some sea mosses are fake. Some sea mosses are not real. You have to understand the real sea moss from the fake sea moss. You have to understand that, you know, like some people when they, when they, um, when they mix it up, they might use tap water. Never clean off your sea moss with tap water. Never clean off your sea moss with purified water. And then after you clean your sea moss and you soak it, you use the same water that you soak it in to blend up everything. Never rinse that out. Because some people rinse it out and then they add fresh water. But you're, you're rinsing out the minerals that soaked into the sea moss. Okay, so it's it's different. It's ways of preparing it the correct way. Not saying other people aren't preparing it correctly, but don't add all them fruits and berries and strawberries and all of them kinds and mix it and have it tasting good. Sea moss is not meant for that. Sea moss is raw. Sea moss is authentic. You have to take it as it is. You know, um, but hey, to each his own. People feel like the ones that got the berries and the fruits and the sweets in it helping them. So be it, you know. Um, I'm just, I'm just into the, the regular sea moss. I'm not, I'm not getting the, the ones that's sweet and have all that stuff in it. I mean, if I want something sweet, I'll drink some Kool Aid or something. But that's just something that I want everybody to know about sea moss. Um, I've been supposed to do this video a long time ago, um, because I literally been doing sea moss for like almost a year now, and I've, like I said, I saw. So much difference. I can't wait to show you my numbers in another six months. Um, hopefully my numbers are even better um, with, you know, the weight loss and just the different things that I'm doing. Um, I do have some workout videos to come because my best friend said she's going to come here and she's going to train me, y'all. She's going to train me because she knows how serious I am about baby number two. And she's like, you know what? We about to get in this gym, girl. We about to work out. And I'm scared. <laughs> I'm gonna take y'all with me to our gym. If you guys are ready, I don't don't pick on me too much because I'm gonna be tired. I'm gonna be out of breath. But she said she's gonna come here. I think at least two or three times a week to train me. I love her so much. She's the best. She's the best person ever. I swear. Like I have never, and I'm not even trying to be funny. I have never met such a sweethearted, kind thoughtful human being a day in my life like she's the she's the sweetest person ever and I love her so much and I <laughs> and it's like I have had a lot of friends come in and out of my life a lot of people that I would call um family or friends or anybody like that but she is definitely a true friend for life like I have never met nobody else like her and I love her so much and she's so supportive with like all the stuff that I do with YouTube and heck if I'm broke she'll love she'll leave me some money like anything real stuff like real talk you know because we you know we're here we're just we're just talking we're, we're vibing <laughs> but yeah so she's coming to help me y'all 
And where she lives and where I live is about a 30 to 45 minute drive. So she 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 is willing. And she have a gym membership. So she can go to the gym when she wants. But <laughs> she is willing to drive 30 to 45 minutes two to three times a week for me. Because she wants to see me happy. She wants to see me successful. She wants to help me out. And I tell you, I, I, I love her so much. That's the best person ever, like for real. That's my girl. But yeah, y'all. Um, that's pretty much it. This video, I didn't want to make it too, um, long, but yeah, that's pretty much it. On um, my next video, like I said, I'm probably going to be posting the video where I cut my fucking best friend hair off and y'all, oh my gosh, things got crazy in that video. And then, yeah, y'all can just always comment below on more ideas and more things. Oh, and I do want to give a special shout out, y'all. I want to give a special, special, special shout out to Kay Flowers. I'm going to put her right here. Kay Flowers. She said, if you go through your regular doctor, you can get an HSG test with your regular insurance. I had one done and was pregnant two weeks after. Thank you so much, Kay Flowers, because I did not know that y'all but i called my actual OBGYN and they was charging more than the actual clinic they was like um to see the doctor is two hundred dollars then the actual procedure is another six hundred or seven hundred dollars on top of that i'm looking at like eight hundred nine hundred dollars going through my OBGYN when the place was just six hundred and i'm like what but that's good information y'all so Maybe it's like cheaper if you go to like um to different places or so. It might be like a little cheaper. But that's good information. Thank you so much for um telling me that. So yeah, that's pretty much it, y'all. Like I said, make sure y'all comment below for more videos. Give me more ideas of things to do, what you guys want to see. Um, like and subscribe until next time, and make sure you stay true to you. Bye y'all. Mm -hmm. I'm a body, I'm a night